Rockview CI3 meteorologist Jacob Dickey. Quick update for you. We do have a severe thunderstorm warning for Ford and Iroquois County. Let's go ahead and bring the radar full real quick. Uh, this warning goes until 630. It's a storm near Onarga and Gilman sliding to the south and southeast has uh, some quarter size hail and I'm sorry, golf ball size hail and 70 mile per hour winds. We're going to have the latest updates uh, coming up on WCIA 3 News at 6 o'clock. We are live on our digital platform, though, watching this storm move on through. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. I'm WCIA 3 meteorologist Jacob Dickey. A quick update for you here. Still have a severe thunderstorm warning for Ford and Iroquois County. The latest report from near Cisna Park, a report from the National Weather Service of 75 mile an hour winds. They're indicating some significant winds likely in Buckley and Loda. We have heard of power outages in that area. This storm moving to the south at about 25 miles an hour. Heads up downstream for parts of Vermilion County. At 6 o'clock, uh, we're going to have the live updates for you on TV. The other thing to note is the National Weather Service says that golf ball size hail likely with this storm. So we'll keep you updated. We'll have a full update during WCI 3 News at 6 o'clock. We are live on our digital platforms now, but we'll see you at 6 right here. Back to your regularly scheduled program. Asked first. We've got a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for parts of Ford, Iroquois, Livingston, uh, I'm sorry, Fort Iroquois, Champaign, and Vermilion counties now. A storm with 70 to 75 mile per hour winds now carrying to the south and southeast. If we can go ahead and bring me full here real fast, I'll point out some things for you. The core of the storm now to the east of I-57, and that storm is uh, moving to the south at about 25 miles an hour. There were large trees reported down in Buckley, a 75 mile per hour wind gust reported in South Iroquois County, even some hail in the area. There are some power outages also in Buckley and loaded downstream, ranking. Clarence, Potomac, Armstrong, Gifford, Collison, and Bismarck will be watching the storm and keeping you updated. We'll have an update coming up with the full weather forecast as WCIA 3 News starts right now. Now, Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Jacob Dickey. We've got one severe thunderstorm in the area right now. We had a low chance. We mentioned that as early as last night and this morning. This storm, though, has caused some problems in parts of central Illinois. Let's take a closer look here. There are some scattered storms elsewhere in the area, but this storm in particular now has got a severe thunderstorm warning with 70 mile per hour winds and quarter size hail. The storm now in northwestern Vermilion County and parts of south western Iroquois County. I'll turn off some of the data here and we'll take a close look. Uh, there's been some reports of damage near Buckley, Loda, and Gilman to trees. Some power outages also in that area. We're working to find more information on that. In the meantime, as we look here at this storm, it's now from Cisna Park down towards Clarence, towards Potomac and Rankin, moving off to the south and east at about 25 to 35 miles an hour. The severe thunderstorm warning for Champaign and Vermilion County will go until 7 o'clock. It does not include Champaign-Urbana. It does not include Rantoul. This is off to the east of Gifford, to the north of Rantoul here, and likely is a Vermilion County issue. Quick check elsewhere in the area before we take the graphics here. Uh, we've got scattered showers and storms in other parts of the region. There's been some small hail, lots of lightning with these. A cluster of storms now in Coles County had some pea-sized hail reported. We're seeing other showers and storms along and north of I-72, scattered in nature from Springfield to Decatur to Monticello and Champaign. We'll continue to watch here as these storms move on through through the area. Here's a quick check at our sky cams. We're watching the, the weather camera in Danville right now, seeing some of those dark clouds off in the distance. Let's take our champagne camera on max one full now and take a look there and we'll see on the green wall that there's more rain and storms coming into town here. Some rumbles of thunder continuing in the area. And we'll watch it and keep you updated here on digital platforms. We are live on there now. We'll be off there until 6.30 uh, for more updates. Temperatures in the 90s today. Lots of instability in the atmosphere. It's been humid. Those dew points in the 70s. Heat index values at times have been in the triple digits out there. As we look here across the region then, those temperatures have been the big story. If you've gotten rain-cooled air, it's helped wash things away. Here's a look at satellite and radar over the last couple of hours. The storm started up in Chicago and have carried off to the south and to the east by about 10 o'clock tonight. I think we're all done. Um, we'll be heading for a mostly clear night with temperatures down into the upper 60s and low 70s out there. Notice future track dry by 10. Tomorrow then, 
Uh, we'll be seeing a sunny sky. Dry weather is here. There's a cold front coming on through. That cold front will bring some changes for us here. As the weather coming into the next couple of days, we'll keep you updated on the weather. Have a full forecast update for you at 9 and 10. But in the meantime, just look forward to this. Drier air moving on in. The chance for rain will return by Thursday night into Friday. Here's a check at our seven-day forecast. We've got some scattered storms for the next few hours. They'll be done by about 10 o'clock, I think, tonight. All that dry, sunny weather coming our way. Temperatures in the low 80s, even upper 70s by Tuesday and Wednesday. More storms will return by Friday into the weekend. We'll keep you updated on that. In the meantime, Mark, we're live on our digital platforms now. I'm going to turn that off. And what I'll do is uh, at 6.30 at the end of the show, we'll jump back on there and keep folks updated on the progress of that Vermilion County storm. That's a pretty heavy uh, gust of wind, I'd say. That. Yeah, 75 mile an hour reported from a weather station near Cisna Park. So a lot of strong winds. We'll keep you updated and have any reports and damage at 9 and 10. Might even be enough to mess up your hair. A little bit. Just, yeah, all right. Well, uh, Jacob Dickey, thanks. Still to come, a blast. Here's a last look at storm tracker Doppler. Severe thunderstorm warning continues until 7:15 for Vermilion and Champaign counties. Uh, we're going to watch this storm. It's had a history of wind damage out there. There's also been some power outages reported. We're live on our digital platforms watching this storm, but other storms are rolling through parts of the region right now, scattered in nature with some small hail and some gusts of wind. You can join us on our digital platforms, Facebook Live, on Twitter, and on the WCI3 Weather app for more updates. We're going to roll on with some extended coverage on these storms right there. All right, Jacob. Jacob, thanks for keeping your eye on all that. We will see you tonight at 9 and 10 o'clock as well.